Hey Taurus, <clears throat> I sure hope that the audio on your reading is recording as I'm doing it. As much as you guys probably hate that voiceover, I can't stand it as well. <laughs> Let's see. This reading is for the 22nd through the end of the month, the 31st. And yeah, it's for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on, you guys. I know everybody is probably um, feeling kind of ugh due to this coronavirus. Even if you haven't like gotten the coronavirus, just all the restrictions, all the mayhem, the chaos. Can't even find freaking toilet paper. <laughs> you know. Anyway, let's see. What's going on with my Taurus? What's going on with Taurus? And we have the chariot. You guys are like hell bent on achieving something here. This is cancer energy. I feel like there is a relationship in question. But I mean it's like you, you you're determined to make something happen here. You're determined to move forward with something. <clears throat> it's challenging, Taurus. Three of Swords. Oh. Mm, you have some heartbreak under your belt here. This is Libra energy. I feel like you're trying to fight through it. You're determined to not let whatever happened um, with this person like deter you from actually achieving what it is that you want and I feel like that is a loving relationship here a loving connection <clears throat> you're pushing through what is the underlying issue here for Taurus Under okay came out and spun around hmm Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty to me. Look at that. You have the clouds right there. You have the stars. It's almost like, I don't know. Let's see which way. I don't know. But that's the star. This is also Aquarius energy here. I feel like what the underlying issue here is is that you guys have not healed um, I feel like for some of you you're trying to get into other like romantic situations when you really have not worked through your hurt and your pain of the other relationship um, it's like that saying, getting under somebody to get over somebody. And I feel like that's kind of like the scenario that's going on here for some of you. This is a pretty card. I feel like a lot of you guys are vulnerable right now. Here. Hmm. What was going on in the recent past for Taurus? The recent past for Taurus. Death. There was definitely something that um, ended here. But this was something that needed to end. Because there, there's, there's something beautiful about being reborn again. You know, you, you have all of your struggles, you have all of your pain, you have all of, of your insecurities, um, everything. And it's like anything that is not working, ending that. And it may take you a while to actually end that. And I feel like that's what you did. There was something that ended in the past that was a long time coming. I felt like you guys struggle with it, but nevertheless, you put it to bed. 
and I feel like it it had you down it beat you down before the Scorpio energy but now it's like you're determined to get up and push through your pain and move forward but I'm getting here that the underlying issue is that you guys truly haven't come to grips with your pain you haven't re truly healed from the situation that caused you so much hurt here you may not wear it on your face you may not wear it on your exterior but um you guys actually i feel like are putting on this hard shell but inside i feel like you're still hurting you're still hurting over the situation over someone Crowning thoughts for Taurus. Crowning thoughts for Taurus. Hmm. There you are. The Hierophant. I think, you know, you guys are looking for answers. You are even asking for help from a higher power, asking for guidance. What should I do? How should I maneuver? How should I get over this situation? I feel like, you know, this is you really wanting to do the right thing, the correct thing here. And if you look, the right thing is to deal with your feelings, actually. Look at these cars. They're both similar, aren't they? They're similar but different. With the star, you're bare. You're exposing yourself here. But with the Hierophant, I feel like there's, there's an active energy here. This is like on the outside. This is like what you you know the help that you try to get from like counselors and and um, uh, older wiser figures somebody that you really trust and depend upon here this comes more from within it comes more from um, your your spiritual being I feel like this is more getting in touch with your your inner core I feel like you guys are reaching out for help here from people and that that does help but I think there's something underlying here deeper under the surface that needs to be addressed as well is the thing okay because you can get all the help and assistance and guidance and and you know opinions from people but you know your your inside has to be okay okay it's coming in for Taurus it's coming in for Taurus hmm. the sign Happiness, enlightenment. I think you're determined to be happy, regardless of what you have experienced before, regardless of the disappointment. That is Leo energy there. Hmm. How is Taurus viewing this situation? How is Taurus viewing this situation? Five of Wands, again, Leo. Kind of conflicted. Um, I feel like you've been struggling. You are definitely fighting with yourself because you feel like it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to get over it. But you cannot put a time frame truly on healing. It's when you're ready. And I feel like a lot of you guys are really kind of beating yourselves up over the fact that you're still affected by this ending you're still affected by this hurt here 
I feel like you're asking like how do I move past this please somebody not saying that you're saying please but it's like in your head it's like I just want to be able to move on move past this I just want to be happy I want to forget about this bullshit right here you know but it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship with yourself basically listening to you know your feelings allowing yourself to feel what it is that you're feeling so you can put it to rest truly what is the influence here for Taurus the influence for Taurus five of Pentacles you got a lot of conflict going on here a lot of conflict going on here you guys are hurt there's something that makes you feel like the oddball. Um, you feel rejected. You feel put off. And I think the fact that some of you may actually be sick right now. But there's something that um, makes you feel not worthy. almost unlovable and that is so not true hmm. hopes or fears for Taurus the moon your fear of course is that you will not be able to um, see things clearly you will not be able to get out of this funk Things will not just be um, so apparent to you as to what to do. You guys are afraid of the unknown. Cancer energy there. Overall outcome here for Taurus. Look at that. There we have the tower. the tower and I kind of felt that tower energy here because I see you guys are like things are like contradictory in your reading it's like you're trying to force something to happen without going through all of the steps is what I'm getting for you because a lot of times when people are hurt they just want to stop hurting and do things to try to like stop the hurting but all it's doing is like masking the hurt it's like the reference that I made before getting under somebody to get over somebody if it was somebody that you truly loved and you guys broke up this person hurt you they left you um, they put you out they made you feel unwanted and then you're like, okay, you know, fuck that shit. You know, I can find somebody else. And you actually do get with someone else, right? And while you're with that person, then you start to feel better. You almost don't think about this ending over here because you've got something else that's distracting you. But, and you may not even be involved with this person for long that's distracting you. This is what we call the... Um, the rebound okay so you involved with this person it may be for a month or two or whatever and while you're with this person you're not thinking about this past person that you really truly loved and things just went haywire with them but as soon as you break up with this person or as soon as you stop talking to this person this rebound person then all of those feelings that you didn't think about while you were with this rebound person come flooding back that's because it was never resolved. The rebound person was the mask that covered up your hurt and your pain. So now that that mask has been removed, here's that pain again. Here. Here. 
team. Okay? So it's, it's time to deal with ourselves and have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with ourselves guys okay so that is what i have for you um i think i told you all the signs already scorpio strong here we have cancer here libra aquarius um leo is here could be another taurus like you guys does not have to be but those are that's the energy that's here all right guys so i'll be speaking with you guys soon and namaste